When I think of the word school, I think of fish. I think of hundreds of fish swimming up toward the light that breaks magically through the ocean's horizon. They are silver fish looking exactly the same, making the same movements. I don't see leaders and I don't see followers. I see all of them the same. When I think of the word education, I think of being pulled along by a leader. I'm on this mountain trail, not knowing how to get to the top, and I must rely on someone to help me. This person, unfortunately, ties a rope around my waist and leads me up the hill. I can't get it wrong because I'm tied to the person. I can't fall because I'm anchored to him. I go at her pace, regardless if I'm winded. I stop when he stops, regardless if I want to continue. When we reach the top, I don't feel like I've accomplished what I hoped to accomplish. When I think of the word learning, I think of a small mountain in a small town that framed this small farmhouse where my grandparents lived. I think of being seven years old and how that mountain called to me. I remember the stream that ran to the left and the granite rocks that lay to the right and how I struggled to make it up. Sometimes I was barefoot, sometimes I was in shoes. Sometimes I would stop to explore these tiny little flakes of fool's gold or some of the colorful rocks that were in the creek and spent some time imagining that I was panning for gold at Sutter's Mill. And other times I would become so fascinated by a tree with this huge hole, I would spend a lot of time trying to figure out what animal might live there. Ultimately, I would always end up at this little grassy space enveloped by these beautiful oak trees where I would eat my sandwich, lay down on the grass, and gaze up at the sky, full of questions. It was during my little Sunday journeys up that hill where I learned. I learned to be a writer by listening to the wind. I learned math by determining how much time I had based on the distance I needed to travel to get home. I learned history as I explored the remnants of the majestic Kumeyaay in these concave impressions that they left in granite rocks. I learned through my own interests, my own curiosity, and my own need to explore the world in which I lived. We do not need to educate by leading our students up hills, tethered to predetermined content which may be of little interest. We do not need to place them in schools where we don't see them as amazing individuals of many different colors and many different skills. We simply need to help them get started on their own explorations. <laughs>